is ceremony. Food is sacred. Food is medicine. When I think about food, I think about freedom. I think about the endless possibilities and the inspiration it brings. It's built communities, homes, cultures, and it continues to save lives. You see, food is more than just fuel. It's communication. Food gives us messages of not only what our body needs, but where it could be located ancestrally and genetically. What if these are clues linking us to moments in history where displacement fractured our birthright to the knowledge of how to heal ourselves? <laughs> yes. <laughs> heal ourselves. What do you mean, you ask? I mean to get rid of old paradigms and patterns and to create new ways to engage, to reconnect, to restore. It's that first communication, that birthright, that knowledge. Our connection to food is because we are literally touching it. When we cook, we are in communion with food. It's an alchemy, a symbiotic exchange from hands to crops, to hands. With a show of hands, I can't really even see you guys right now, but with a show of hands, how many of you remember a meal that you cooked and really loved, like really, really loved? Yes. Did you ever think about why you loved it so much? Did it remind you of something? Did it connect you to something? See, we understand food to be about nutrition and health, but what about identity and creativity? To my identity, it's my Guyanese culture on Christmas morning. Yes! <laughs> White linens, gold chargers, wine glasses, and decorative plates, a long chef's table going across the entire kitchen into the living room the sounds of reggae Christmas gospel music, and the smells, the smells of pepper pot, mm -hmm. salt fish, garlic pork, fried plantain, bakes, Guyanese bread, <laughs> Guyanese bread, and smoked turkey. Mm -hmm. See, I grew up with many traditions mostly around the holidays, but food clings to the intricacies of ceremony. So how do I create ceremony? Well, two years ago, I took my ceremonial practice of cooking and started a company, a meal prep and consultation company that is dedicated to working with clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis to reintroduce them to food. You see, I wanted people to know that food could be this colorful and exciting experience, and that they, you, you can create that. Creativity does not belong to the artist. Let me repeat that. Creativity does not belong to the artist. It's our innate response to the world around us. Somewhere between uncertainty and excitement lives thousands of people wanting the permission to try something new, something different. Well, I say go for it, right? Do it. See, I've never fit in the box, whether it's where I live, how I dress, the color of my skin, or how I choose to live my life. But as a black, queer woman, I understand how those intersectionalities speak to the work around decolonizing food practices, claiming autonomy, and creating an alternative way. Picture this. Close your eyes. Like, really, close your eyes. Imagine a table. 
It's colored with herbs, spices, vegetables, and roots. This table spans the length of the entire earth. But this table isn't like any other table because you may sit and take anything you want or need for it's a gift, an offering given to us to remember why we are and who we are. Open your eyes. Food connects us. It connects us to something bigger than ourselves. A web of, of memories, feelings, emotions, and people. That's why I believe food is sacred. Okay, so when I was in grade one, I used to make my own lunch. Peanut butter and honey sandwiches. Back in the time when you used to be able to bring peanut butter to school. See, my mother used to pack my lunch and she got tired of me never eating it, so she told me I needed to do it for myself. So I did. By age seven, I was using the stove alone. I tried to recreate repeats of my parents' meals, never as good. But now, that memory is a catalyst, the starting off point to that something bigger. What you eat is who you are right down to the DNA. And I believe, I believe that that connection is so important. Let medicine be thy food and food be thy medicine. We are in a food renaissance right now, a resurgence. We've become so obsessed with what we're eating because we're constantly being told of what's bad versus trying to find the inspiration to discover what works for us. For me, it was plant-based. For you, it may be something else. Like our connection to our mother figures, we rely on food to ground us, to make us feel good. So, let me leave you with this. Food is more than just fuel, it's communication. It tells us everything we need to know about who we are and why we are. It's freedom. And we have access to it all, to all that knowledge deep within us. So, I encourage you to start a new relationship with food. One that's based on restoring and reconnecting. The journey won't be easy because you're not only digging up patterns, but you're digging up memories. So be gentle, be patient, be an advocate for your practices, try something new and trust your impulses. It's your birthright. Thank you.